Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Since Arrow is on break this week, I decided to do some fun bonus predictions for the end of the season, or at least the rest of the season. Since we've seen a lot of behind the scenes pictures and there's been a lot of comments about what's going on in episode descriptions, there are gonna be five big questions that I'm gonna ask and try to answer in this video. So I'm gonna save a lot of the season three talk for a separate video. So this is just gonna be about what's happening for the rest of season two. If you're finding me for the first time, I typically do Arrow videos every week. Usually Wednesdays and Thursdays are kind of like my unofficial DC days. And whenever there are new episodes, I always do bonus Q&A videos. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Next week is actually going to be a really cool crossover with The Flash. So here are my top five Arrow questions for the rest of the season. I'm going to answer these, but obviously feel free to write in your own opinions as we go along. So here we go. Number five, what is Slade going to do with his super soldier army? Not just this season, what's he going to do with it once they're done? I think the army is just a means to an end. The end of Oliver, that is. Slade is trying to tear down Oliver's life, and of all the relationships in his life, you know, his family, his friends, one of his biggest is with the city itself, with Starling City. Slade could have totally killed Oliver all by himself. He doesn't need Brother Blood or Summer Glau, who I'm just calling Ravager right now. Because he's all about making Oliver suffer, he needs to make the city suffer, so he's just gonna blow up a big part of it and then kill a bunch of people. Basically turn the city into something you'd see in like a Grand Theft Auto game. But if he's successful, what's he going to do with the army once he's done? He's not trying to make a new League of Assassins, you know, he's not trying to create a new evil organization. I think he just intends to walk away. He's a loner, you know, as we saw in episode 18, he doesn't really care about Brother Blood either. So he's just going to disappear when it's all done. There's also the chance that he'll destroy the army himself. They're all convicts, so the arrangement he made with them seems very temporary. Like, he doesn't care if any of them survive after he's done with Oliver. That's all he really cares about is the Oliver part, not the super soldier part. Number four, what is Laurel going to do now that she knows Oliver is the arrow? The producers made this really offhanded comment that audiences are expecting her to freak out, but will be surprised whenever we see what her actual response is. I think that just means that Laurel will totally be down with it. She did see a little bit of action during Birds of Prey and in the description for episode 21, City of Blood, it says that she's on the hunt for Sebastian again. Ever since they started showing her with Sebastian way earlier this season, I thought that she might be the one to end up taking him down. It's like you have Oliver versus Slade and over on one side you have Laurel versus Brother Blood. And now that Ravager is the villain, I'm actually wondering if Sarah is going to be the one to take her on directly or if they'll let Felicity do the honors. There is all this Laurel Black Canary talk, but I still think it's way too soon for her to become Black Canary. So I think they're gonna say that for season three or even season four. I'm really hoping that Sarah survives. Which actually brings me to number three, who is going to die this season? We should also ask, is anyone gonna die? Personally, I think so. I just feel like the show has been escalating things so much. Eventually, the only way to top it all will be to kill a major character. It could totally be a supporting character like Moira, but think about it this way, any characters that are either currently or will become superheroes are probably safe. So here's something really important though that kind of ties into all this. Reportedly, there was a funeral scene that was shot during episode 21. So if someone is going to die this season, it probably is going to happen in that episode. Side note though, I will be super bummed if it all turns out to be misdirection. Like it's a fake funeral or a funeral for a character that we didn't really see a lot. But here's something else that's really important and hopefully it will make you feel a little bit better. Katie Lotz was actually listed on the call sheet for episode 22, Streets of Fire. So Sarah will still be alive then, meaning she's not going to die. I actually cheered a little bit when I saw this. So if she's going to survive till season 3, that means that Laurel is definitely not going to become the Black Canary this season. It also means they can do more Birds of Prey because Huntress has to get out of jail sometime and I'm hoping it's because Amanda Waller recruits her into the Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey crossover, it would be amazing. On to number two, will Ivo turn out to be Felicity's father? And are we gonna find out who her father is? We still haven't seen the rest of what happens on the island before Oliver took Slade's eye out. You know, Ivo is still alive, and there's so many things that line up with what Felicity has said about her father and what Ivo has said about himself in all those flashback scenes. Andrew Kreisberg actually said that we will learn more about Felicity this season, but they are holding a lot of really big stuff for season three meaning that whoever her father is, it's actually pretty important. If her father were someone normal, they would just straight up tell us. There wouldn't be any reason to keep it a secret. So even if her father is not Ivo, he's still someone very important in the DC universe. That doesn't mean that he's necessarily evil, but it does mean the show isn't going to tell us outright who he is this season. 
So for now, let's just stick with Ivo until we get more details, but it's always possible that her father could be connected to Hive or whoever the big bad is in season three. So it's really exciting. So here we go. Here's my number one arrow question for the rest of the season. How is Oliver going to defeat Slade? We've only got episode descriptions up to 21, City of Blood, and that's it. In that episode, Oliver tries to just flat out surrender to Slade, but it sounds like Team Arrow is going to lock him up so he can't. And I also, I don't think Slade would stop his plans just because Oliver surrendered. He wants to make him suffer. So here are a couple possible solutions. One, Oliver could just flat out find a way to overpower him and mortally wound him. He's almost invincible. Remember, in episode 18, Slade talked about how the Mirakuru healed his body after he got ripped to shreds. So he is not going to be able to kill him without chopping his head off. And I don't think he's going to do that. He's not a killer. That's like the whole arc of his character this season. Oliver does not kill people anymore. To be fair though, Oliver did kill someone this season. Remember, when Count Vertigo tried to dose Felicity with the Vertigo drug, he shot him out a window, so he's pretty dead. But the second option actually involves a bigger threat coming along, like Ra's al Ghul. You know, something that would force Slade to stop attacking Oliver for a minute and make him redirect all that evil shadow energy into the League of Assassins. Manu Bennett kind of teased this, but the producer said that there were some special things they were working on for the finale, you know, a la characters, that might end up happening, but completely dependent on a bunch of stuff behind the scenes working out. I think that they were just talking about wanting to do Ra's al Ghul and Warner Brothers, you know, having to okay it from a legal perspective. Remember, it actually took them a long time to get the okay, the official okay to do Barry Allen in episode eight and nine. So it's possible that they'll do Ra's al Ghul and it's just taken this long for them to get clearance. If that ends up happening, it would totally mean that Slade and Oliver could temporarily at least cease fire and be brothers again, so to speak, while they try to fend off the League of Assassins. That would actually be pretty badass. But it doesn't address the issue of evil Tinkerbell Shadow. You know, I don't think Oliver is going to take the Mirakuru out of Slade's body, but I do think the Team Arrow will find a way to get rid of that evil Shadow, or at least clear Slade's head. The show isn't going to kill off Slade, like he's not going to die. They didn't even kill Merlin after season one. They're just too awesome to completely get rid of. Plus, John Barrowman was on set for the finale, so Merlin will definitely play a role in whatever that final outcome is. But now it's your turn. How do you think they're going to fix Slade in the finale? And who do you think is going to die this season? You know, is it going to be Moira or is it going to be some other side character? Also, because there was no new episode of Air, I'm not going to do a Q&A this week, but I will be answering questions in the comments. Next week also is the really awesome Flash crossover episode, so it's going to be really cool. Be sure to subscribe to get my video. And in the meantime, you can actually click here to learn all about the new Team Deathstroke. It's going to be so badass. It's like the evil trinity. And you can click here to learn all about Captain America 3. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.